Gregory, so he knows this business inside and out. Okay, Brandon Simmons here, and I just want to do a quick case study. This is a referral deal that we have from another investor. Uh, we're over here in Mesa. Um, we're not that far from Stapley and the 60, if, uh, if you're familiar with the area, but we want to do a quick case study. This is a referral deal. This is a four bed, two bath that we're going to be wholesaling. And I want to kind of show you what we do when we're looking at comps, when we're looking at different values, how to, what price you need to buy the house at and what price you should sell the house at. And we're gonna do this full case study so you can see exactly what we do step by step on every single thing. Everything from the option paperwork to the assignment paperwork and to the HUD settlement statement. So follow me, come on in. You always wanna take a quick look at first see what the roof looks like. You wanna see how old the AC is. This one does not have a garage, it does have a nice carport. It can fit about four or five cars right in here. And as we're walking in the house, you walk in, this is a rental property, okay? So it's nothing fancy, and it's been a rental property for like five years. So you got our, our main living room. Kitchen's right here. You could knock that wall down and expand it, make it a big great room and into a larger kitchen. So let's go check out the bathrooms and the bedrooms. Follow me. right here we got bedroom number three which also has a bathroom in it so this would be considered a master or a second master so go, you can go ahead and peek in here real quick now let's go check out the rest of the house and show you the backyard and everything too so we have we have our entrance from the carport here this comes into a dining room area we got our kitchen here. It does need some updates, but again, you know, this is a wholesale deal. So this is another bedroom right here. This could be used for a bedroom or a bath. It has a fireplace, and then we have a closet right here. And then right across here, we have a storage room and utility room. This is where we have the washer and dryer. So the washer and dryer will be in this room right here. We'll go in there in a second. This is the backyard. It has a covered back patio. Cover back patio in Arizona is important because you want to be able to stay out of the heat while you're barbecuing, right? But this is this is a big selling point. Check this out. This is huge. I mean, it is a humongous RV carport, right? And it has uh, back alley access, so you can pull your RV in or your trailer. You know, depending if you you know what you do for a living. So a lot of people do landscaping stuff like that. Pull your trailer in, park it here. You got extra storage, you got a storage shed, you got exterior short, uh, storage right here. So let me show you there. Okay, and then we have an AC that's uh, I think about five or six years old, if I remember right. So the newer AC manufactured day is 2012 of August. So maybe it's put in 2013, I need to find out. So AC is good, roof is good. The house has great bones, brick exterior. So right here is the storage room. Right, this is storage, and then inside here, I don't have the light on right now, but this would be where the hot water heater is right behind here, and washer and dryer go. 